Previously on Solar Balls, the Sun has decided to force every planet to stay in their realistic orbit, basically making the way this show works, like, impossible. Huh, that's strange. Astro Dude, something weird's going on. What now? A black hole? Zombie planets? Even more concerning, everything is totally normal! Uh, okay? I mean it! Our readings of space have gotten used to all sorts of nonsensical things, like planets changing orbits, the Earth drifting into the Kuiper Belt, our moon disappearing, blah blah blah, but, but now, those radars detect nothing! Fair point. It's unusual that nothing unusual happens. I'll take a look. Good boy. Don't say that. Where's the moon? On that note, where is everybody? Hey, Astro Dude! Earth? All good? No, oh, dude! We're all stuck like this! Like what? And where's the moon? I'm here! Wow, you're... Have you always been this far? Technically, yes. In practice, you know. Astro Dude! What? And why are you talking like that? Is he looking? Is the sun looking? Too far to tell. Uh, computer, do a digital zoom. Right away. Oh my g- it, Yes, he, he's staring at us, all right. Darn it! Okay, so here's the situation. The sun wants us to be, like, realistic and stuff. So, no more moving around, getting in trouble? Nope! It sucks, right? I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We are sentient planets, dude. How would you feel if you had to be completely static and turn around super slowly? Earth, all I know is you planets get in trouble all the time. I know, I know. Which is why you have to do it. Do what? Go to Jupiter. He'll know what to do. Why don't you? Oh, yep, okay, never mind. Come on, Astro Dude! You owe me one! Since when? Since birth! I'm the Earth, bro! Uh, okay. But you can't use the I'm the Earth card again, okay? Promise. Uh, thank you, Astro Dude. Who are you talking to, Earth? Uh, d d d Thea! Yeah, I I'm still having hallucinations, son. Uh, ooh! Ah! Uh, oh, Thea! Oh my gosh! Okay, you need help. Look who's talking. Okay, based on the distance we've covered, we should be approaching the asteroid belt. Weird. Usually it looks like this big movie-like belt filled to the brim with asteroids. Wait, watch out. Whoa! Was that an asteroid? Yeah, we're inside the belt. You're kidding, right? No. We've gotten used to believing the asteroid belt is this crowded space, but in reality, this is how it would look like. So, like, empty space? Mostly. Asteroids in the belt tend to be, on average, around a million kilometers apart. What? Yup. And how far is Jupiter from here? Over 375 million kilometers. How are we supposed to do all these journeys in this realistic solar system. My ship's gonna run out of fuel. Well, our ship is very advanced, so we can extract water ice from asteroids, which we can separate into hydrogen and oxygen to fuel the ship through a process called electrolysis. Is that a thing? Yup. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, do that. Two, one, and... Yo! It's the Earth! And Luna! Uh, thanks for watching our show. I hope you're learning a thing or two about space. Or if not, that you're at least having fun. Earth, the whole point of solar balls is that we do both. Well, no one told me that. It's in the script. Anyways, if you like us, and by us, I mean our show, 
then we invite you to support our talented team of writers, animators, and everyone else who makes this possible. If you'd like to help, we have the Patreon, where you can get early episodes, learn tons of secrets about the future of the show, and have your name in the credits. But if merch is your thing, then oh boy, do we have some cool stuff in our store. You can get plushies of me and Luna. Ahem. <laughs> Uh, and many other characters, as well as our very own trading card game, Solar Cards. Oh yeah, we did a whole Kickstarter and all, and it's such a fun game to play with your friends and family while you learn about space. Or just to collect them all. Look, Earth, it's me, but made of bricks. Samesies! <laughs> Anyways, thank you for your support, and enjoy the rest of the show. Saturn! Hey, Saturn! What? It's me, Jupiter! Who are you? Oh my god, I am Jupiter! I am sorry, I don't talk to strangers! Oh, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? Hey, Jupes! Astro Dude, you're here! I am! Had to make a few stops for fuel, but I did it! Listen, I may be talking for everyone here, but no one really likes this realistic arrangement of planets. It's true! I am the closest moon to Jupiter, and even I am like 120,000 kilometers away from him! Uh, listen, the Earth told me you'd know what to do, so just tell me what your plan is to get everyone in trouble so I can be on my way. Well, I, I do have a plan, but I need to tell it to everyone. How? Well, I guess I'll need a messenger. Wait. No, 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 no way! I am not going to... <sighs> Jupiter says he has a plan to go back to your old orbits. That's great! What's the plan? I... Uh... Oh, give me a sec. You didn't tell me the plan! Oh, right. So, the plan is... All the planets get out of their orbits at the same time in protest of this rigid system. I love it! Now, go tell everyone else! Okay, that might just work. We'll all get into trouble. I like it. I'm kind of nervous, but if Jupiter says so, anything is better than being stuck here. That's bloody genius, mate. I'm Neptune! All right, this was a long day, so if you'll excuse me... Wait a second, weird astronaut guy. How will we all know when to leave our orbits? I guess... with a signal? Which is... I'll be right back. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot to tell you what the signal's gonna be. <laughs> Happens to everyone. That's crazy. Okay, so the signal's gonna be... There's gonna be a planetary alignment in about a month. All eight planets of the solar system will form a straight line. This usually happens maybe once every hundred years. But since the sun restarted everyone's orbits, we are now one month away from having one. When the alignment happens, everyone must abandon their orbits and go absolutely wild. The sun will try to control us, but he can't control all of us. Okay, anything else? Hmm, nope. All right, now if you'll excuse me. Wait, actually yes. Can you tell Mercury to tell Uranus that Venus accidentally mentioned that Jupiter gossiped to Saturn that the Earth confirmed that Mars was his best friend? I hate you guys. Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!